You've got to tune to the Midday Show on 90.3 KEXP and streaming worldwide at KEXP.org. I'm very excited. Live in the KEXP studios right now, Christopher Owens. Uh, you got a couple songs to start off for us. Yes. Cool, right on. And uh, playing tonight at Numo's, Christopher right. Owens. Thank you. KEXP. <laughs>
out of bed Rolling off and I hit the floor and I wind up above my head I just wish you could see on my honeybee You're nothing but everything to me Well I'll be in my right mind honey and set you right over the phone Just wish you could see how my honey feet live on KEXP 90.3 FM and streaming worldwide at KEXP.org. Man, that sounded great. Two songs from the new album, yes. A New Testament, and uh, Christopher Owen's playing tonight at the new, at Numos here in Seattle, tomorrow night in Vancouver at the Biltmore Cabaret, and October 9th uh, at Star Theater in Portland. Thanks for coming in to KEXP today. Yeah, thanks for having me back. Yeah. <laughs> you were here before with Girls, uh, yes. and uh, you've been here twice. Yeah. And girls, I was a huge girls fan. Um, yeah, loved me too. the records. <laughs> yes, and so this is you, you guys broke up uh, a few years ago and then put out two solo albums. This is your new solo album called A New Testament. That's right. Can you tell me about the title of the album. Um, I think it's just a fantastic title for a new piece of work. You know, could fit for almost anything. I guess if you're proud of it, if it if it has some substance, says something. Sure. That, you're, that you're trying to say of yourself, then it, then it is a, a testament. Yeah, um, it's also a little fun. Yeah, no, <laughs> definitely. And uh, and it looked like you guys were having a lot of fun uh, playing yeah. those two tracks. Uh, do you want to do. introduce the band? Actually, uh, yeah, we got Corey Lee Granite here on bass, Makita, and Tracy, on backup vocals, and Danny Eisenberg on keys over there. Um, Derek James on drums. And John Anderson on lead guitar. Cool. And uh, several of you were uh, played with uh, with girls on the last girls. Uh, yeah, all of us have actually. Have you? Uh, oh Corey yeah. Corey and I played together in a band before I played in girls, but yeah, we're all old friends. Cool. Doing new things. Nice. And the new album, I, I've heard some of the songs go way, way back, like uh, even pre uh, the first yeah. girls album. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how did you decide what songs to put on this new record? How did well, that come about? Some of them were were written kind of country, you know, and I, yeah, I always wanted yeah. to do a more country album. Sure. Um, so you know, they just had to wait for this uh, platform. Okay. Yeah. Um, others, you know, you start doing a, a record like Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and you get these long songs on there. Something like yeah. Overcoming Me doesn't fit, and you got to put something like Magic in there, uh, you know. So it, there's a balance to be had on albums. I see. Overcoming Me kind of didn't find a spot until now. Yeah, okay. But uh, yeah, one, that's one of the oldest ones there. Right. Yeah. And just happy to get to do it finally, you know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, so as you mentioned, the new album has a lot of country uh, elements, some yeah. soul, some gospel, a um, little R and B, uh, and um, that was something that you'd been planning on doing for a while. Yeah, I thought I'd try my hand at country. I mean, country's yeah. influenced me a lot. I like it. Yeah. I feel like I, I can easily get into that. But then when I got in the studio with all these folks here, um, you know, I started to hear other things happening sure. with the organ and the backups and even some of the guitar solos, you know, that wasn't necessarily country, but I thought, oh, this will make it unique. Yeah. You know, it, it shows the tie back to previous work we've done together before, 
I think we came out with something a little left of country, and sure. uh, I satisfied my my hankering. But uh, <laughs> we did something a little bit more unique, something only this group could do, which is why the album cover shows the group. And Yes, I, I want yeah. to ask about that. So yeah. the, the artwork, it's very different from your first solo album, um, which was, was you, um, just yeah. you, and now this new album has the entire band. Do you feel like this is more of a band effort? Um, well, this, to be on, yeah, to be honest, they both were very much band sure, efforts, and, sure. I, and I was lucky enough to have the people that recorded with me on that album tour with me as well. So I've had really great experiences with the people I've played with solo. Cool. Um, you know, I don't know, first solo album, I just thought portrait of, you know, of <laughs> right. me. Okay. The album's a bit of a portrait. It's a bit more of an interior I see. thing for me, that album. It's, it's sort of my story. This is more just music for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of the themes touch on, on love, whether it's, uh, you know, happy, this, things are going great or things are not going so great. Yeah. Um, is the, and since it was from different parts of your your career, do you feel is it is it different like going back to some of the older lyrics and singing no. those and not not so no. much? No, can't you can kind of get can't in. teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> love love remains the same all the time, you know, in whatever form. I'm sure whenever I have kids or something, I'll yeah. I'll feel love in a whole different way. And these songs will always be fresh for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very cool. Um, I wanted to ask you about the video for "Never Want to See That Look Again." I I was yeah. watching that and. Uh, it's it's super fun and I love the moves and yeah. you're, you're crawling around on the floor and yeah. um, how did that come about? Did, was that something you you just came up with? And um, I'm a big fan of musicals. There's a bit of uh-huh. musical theater going on there. It's, okay. it's a stage set, backdrops, a little bit of dancing. The main idea was to show a little more personality than the previous one did. The okay. Previous one was very fun, I think, but yep. I thought with this one, let's show the other side, get a little bit more of a portrait going. Sure. Um, and I did it with Aaron Brown, who did, I think, the first four girls videos, you know, lots of videos. Um, and that allowed me to be comfortable, you know, having a right. friend behind the camera who could, yeah, who can wink at me or, or <laughs> you know, do something, lets me loosen up. No, sure. Well, I highly recommend checking out that video. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and uh, the production on this new record is, it's just stellar and like the arrangements are great. And uh, how did, was that something that you, took some time to put together or is uh you know i kind of shoot from the hip you know i yeah. i feel like i feel like the songs present themselves as a whole you know we of course we all as we were recording we all tried things and added things and and experimented a little bit but basically the idea is there i think when the song's written yeah and i worked with doug this is my third time to work with doug bame on recording albums and we have a good dialogue going, and he just sort of helped me get what I wanted done. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And I, when you were growing up, did you listen to a lot of uh, country sounds and uh, um, that influenced you on this record? From like a teenage yeah year, from teenage years on. Yeah. yeah. Sixteen years old, I I moved to Amarillo, Texas, and country was everywhere. Sure. Yeah, but but it, I feel like I almost maybe listen to it more now in California. Okay. You know. Yeah. Well, I don't know. well, the new record sounds great. Um, it's called A New Testament, and playing tonight at Numo's, Christopher Owens, uh, live here on KEXP. Got a couple more songs for us. Sure do. You give me something no one gives to me. Always and ever you'll be dear to me. Even apart, you're always here with me because you hold the key to my heart. Promise me that you will always stay. Promise me that you won't go running away. Keep in mind you've always got a key. So if you should run, you can run right back to me. Keep me so close and of love I might just overflow no matter what I hope you always know that you hold the key to my heart promise me that you will always stay promise me that you won't go on running away keep in mind you always got a key so if you should run 
run, you can run right back to me. Keep me so close and never let me go. So much of love I might just overflow. No matter what, I hope you always know that you hold the key to my heart. Don't you go losing the key to my heart. KUXP live with Christopher <laughs> Owens playing tonight at Numos. Christopher Owens live on the Midday Show with a couple more songs from the new album, A New Testament, playing tonight at Numo's and then in uh, Vancouver tomorrow night at the Biltmore Cabaret and on uh, Thursday, 
yeah, on Thursday at the Star Theater in Portland, Oregon. Thanks, you guys, so much for coming in. You sounded great. Um, loved uh, loved the songs, and uh, good luck with the new album and the tour. Uh, you guys are heading to Europe after these uh, yeah. these dates. Yeah. Right on. Cool. Yeah. Have a great tour, and uh, thanks. You're listening to 90.3 FM, KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP.org.